Hey guys, what's up? It's Goo here from Commergence. Today I'm going to bring you a video of our most recent war. It will be a war, war recap video. In this video, I'll show you some Town Hall 9's attack from it. Uh, it will be from our war against Kenny's Galoti. We lost by 3 stars. The average, the total destruction was pretty close, but we couldn't seal the deal. We could have got another star in two, and we had a couple failed dips. And we lost, let's look at some stats. We had 22 three stars compared to 24, seven two stars compared to six, and one, one star compared to zero. All in all, we had a Town Hall 9, didn't have too good of a war. We had to have a couple Town Hall 10s dip down and take out some of the 9s. But we did have some nice attacks from some Town Hall 9s. Alright, let's get into the first Town Hall 9 replay. It'll be, be, it'll be by me. And it'll be on their top Town Hall 9 base, number 14. I'll be coming in with a uh, goal. Go Bowl Laloon. I put down a minion at the 12 o'clock compartment, uh, 12 o'clock builder hunt, and an archer at the 3 o'clock builder hunt. That put down Golem at the 12 o'clock mortar, put down some wizards behind it to help clear out some space. Right when that mortar goes down, place down my second Golem at approximately 11 o'clock, putting some wizards behind that. It's gonna use some wall breakers to break out that compartment. At exactly 11, uh, 12 o'clock ish. I'm placing out a jump a little further down. My bowlers and my king and my queen's gonna go down after the wizard takes out that tower. The bowlers are gonna go in. And the giant bomb is set off. But I have a heal for the bowlers, so no worries there. And the king's going to take out the second air defense. And it's going to take out that queen. He triggers the CC. Which I put down poison for. I pop the queen, king's ability. Queen doesn't quite go over there to take out a baby drag. But the poison should do its work and take it out. And queen takes out. That's and the La Loon at the 3 o'clock air defense. While the air, air defense are targeting the hounds, I send in a couple of uh, looms. I put a haste at the 2 o'clock compartment to take out the inner uh, air defense. I still got one loon up. Oh, I mean, one hound up and a couple looms. Good send in those looms. Put down haste for the looms. Good trigger some air skeletons. That hound is going to pop shortly. And the queen's gonna come from behind to help take out the Tesla and the Expo. I'm sitting on that last haste so it can help me get across the base and take out that final Expo. It's gonna go down right about there. Take out the cannon. It's gonna take out the Expo. It's gonna take out that fire air defense. While it's been doing that, I had some wizards take out the remaining corner huts. And that's a three. Next attack will be by Caveman under number 15. He's coming in with a stone gobo with a la loon, with a back in la loon. Place two golems down, one at approximately uh, 8 and one at approximately 630. One of them triggers a Tesla and he just has a couple of wizards behind it to help funnel. Puts down his third golem. Has it jump directly at, uh, I'll say, 7.30ish, directly into the core. Puts down the heroes. Queen wanders a bit. Has a Hound CC, so it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Has a Rage in. A heal for his main kill squad as they're just plummet from the base. Both ha both enemy heroes goes down. See, uh, the Hound does pop. But the Wizards are doing their best to take it out. And he has a poison for the pups as well. And just sur surgically sending in looms to take out some defenses. And he 
still has two air defense up. He's going to wait for those golem lights to take out the air defense before he sends in his Laloon. Golems take out the um, the third air defense and he's sending in his hound with his loons right behind them. As if poison for the air skeletons, the hound pops, but shouldn't doesn't have any problem because he just has so many loons left over. And the final defensive building left is a cannon, and the balloons will take care of that. Nice shot by Cayman. I think he got a six pack too. Alright, our next attack will be by Bex under uh, number 16. He's coming in with a, um, I would say, Shad Gobo Ladoon, but with only one hound instead of the usual two hounds. Puts down two golems, one approximately, I would say, um, 230 ish and another at approximately 3. Has a couple wizards behind it. Sends in a test wall breaker. Then sends in his remaining wall breakers. The boulders go down. He has to put a jump down. Nice funnel setup. And he still has a wizard going down the side from 3. Gonna take out some trash buildings. Has a doesn't bring a uh, poison in spell composition. So the queen's gonna take out that baby drag. It's gonna pop the king's ability to take out that queen. And as you can notice, he has two skeleton spells. And he's just down to one final air defense. He's gonna send in the Laloon for it, um, the one half for it. Queen's gonna backtrack out to the base. He's gonna haste his loons in. Pops another, um, another Tesla. Triggers two seeking air mines with the Hound, but the Hound doesn't go down. Queen's gonna take out that Tesla, uh, or not. And he's gonna use a Rage to Rage those Slooms into the core. And he still has two skeleton spells left over. Gonna use that final haste to take out that remaining Tesla in the core. Now let's just clean up. And he's gonna swag his two skeleton spells. Nice job by Bex. Also got a six pack. Uh, we watch Caveman, we watch Bex already. Alright, our next attack will be by T Diddy under number 19. He's coming in with a stone hobo. Drops a golem at the 9 o'clock mortar. Has some wizards behind it. Puts down a wizard at the 9 o'clock builder hut to take it out. Drops another golem at approximately 10 o'clock at the 10 o'clock mortar. Puts down some wall breakers to break up that com uh, 9 o'clock compartment. As soon as that mortar goes down, the golem is going to go into that compartment. Drops his third golems. Uh, boulders are going to go. Some of them might walk. Yep, some of them walk. But they backtrack as soon as the CC comes out. But they go back. He has two golems, uh, two jumps down. Uses one of the rage already. Place down a heal for his troops. And it's going to poison the king, uh, the enemy queen. And. The enemy queen is going to be taken out by the bowlers. And he's going to send in his hogs. Queen is doing work, taking out some of the last buildings. Still has six hogs in his army camp. Golem is still tanking. Send in his hogs strategically to take out uh, the few remaining buildings. 
and sending his remaining hogs at those Teslas as they're the most damaging against his hogs right now. Takes those out, and it should be a problem as there's only an air defense and mortar left, and his four hogs should be more than enough. Shot by T Diddy. Game to three. Let's move on to our next attack. It'll be by Bush against their number 20. He's coming in with a Govapo with backing hogs. Puts on some minions at approximately 9 o'clock. 9.30 ish to take out some trash buildings place down his two golems at both had a defensive building near 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock Send sends in a loon at the canyon at 6 o'clock does it get does it get taken down because the wizard towers were in range of it the jump was off by a little bit so he has to use the Valks to help break in. Valks are going to take out the king, enemy king and queen. King is going to travel down to take out that um, canyon. Triggers his CC, but queen should take it, take them out. Place down a heal for his Valks. Boulders are going to do work. Take out that archer tower. going to use a giant to tank at that mortar. His hogs are coming in from approximately 10 to 12. As soon as that giant goes down, it's sending his hogs and down goes his remaining hogs. Place down a heal for them. Triggers a giant bomb. Bomb tower goes off. And this last hog goes down. Now he still has plenty of bowlers walking and still an intact on uh, the base just beating up that wall. Bowlers and so Queen's gonna go behind to support the bowlers. I mean uh, the golem. While the bowlers and wizard take out <coughs> the trash buildings. Hasn't used a queen's ability yet. Pops it now. It's going to take out those Tesla. Take out that archer tower. Take out that Tesla. So it all worked out in the end. Even though his hogs didn't go the way he wanted to. And he still has his bowlers and wizards just working their way down to get out of trash buildings. Nice shot by Bush, clenching that three star. Our next attack will be by Blue. He's coming with a Queen Walk Laloon. Sends in a hog to drag out the CC. Doesn't quite drag all of them out. Drops his queen anyways at 6 o'clock, poisons his CC, double poisons him. Puts down baby drag to help funnel out the queen. And the queen is going to aggravate the king. Puts down rage for the queen to take out the king. Still under rage, the queen's gonna take out that queen. Now that final um, final CC has been triggered by that baby drag, you know, which triggers another baby drag, but the queen is gonna take it out. Pops a queen's ability. Doesn't quite break in as he expected with the wall breakers. to improvise a little bit. 
Dickinson and his king at 9 o'clock. Then drops his CC hound with a couple loons behind it at uh, 3 o'clock. Drops out another hound at it. And they both travel towards the inner air defense. And he drops out another, his final hound. Sweeper is pushing it away, but takes out that final air defense. Queen's going to probably take out that final air defense too. Oh, uh, nope, she starts shooting at a wall. Puts out Haze for its loons to take out the Expo and the Tesla. Teslas. Plenty of pups to go around. The only really damaging to air defense troops right now are um, the Tesla and the Wiz Tower. It still has a haste left. It's going to use it wisely with his remaining two loons. Gonna put down a haste. Is he? Nope, he doesn't. Nice shot by Blue. Swagging a spell, but doesn't put it down. Our next attack will be by Cartman on their number 27. It's coming with a Queen Walk Mass Hog attack. Using the Queen Walk to take out the enemy CC and the heroes. Puts down double poison for the CC as a bunch of goblins and baby drag come out. His own baby drag has taken out two buildings to help to make sure the Queen doesn't go where and go to a different place. Taking out some of those storages, speed it up a little bit, and just as she finishes up that gold mine, uh, gold storage, the queen's gonna get, king's gonna get triggered, and so does the queen. Now that both the heroes and the CC has gone down, the queen's still up. He sends in his king and some CC hogs. And then just starts hogging from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, taking it out that air defense so the queen can stay still up. Puts on a heal for them. Triggers a giant bomb, but shouldn't be a problem as they were under heal. He still has five hogs left. Puts on another heal. And some more hogs coming at approximately 6 o'clock. And then his remaining hogs at 7 o'clock. Queen is still up and walking, and a Tesla farm pops up, but he has a pre-heal force to so many hogs left over. As soon as those Tesla's Expo and Cannon goes down, he's home free. And all that's left is that air defense. He's going to take that out, and the hogs are going to turn back and take out the skellies. Next shot by Carmen, getting the three star. And I think that's all for attacks. Yep, that's all for attacks. Uh, let's see. Shout out to those who had a six uh, six pack this war. So that would be Caveman. Um, Bush uh, and Bex. Nice job, guys. Um, this wasn't one of our strong Town Hall 9 wars, as we have failed on a couple, like more than a couple attacks. But hopefully, pull back on this war, and hopefully, I'll bring a recap in a couple days. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I hope to see you soon with another video. Thank you for watching again and have a good day.